This was once a luxury car, and now it's in a field. So, you might be thinking, what kind of luxury car is this? I mean, you should probably know, whatever. This is, babe, this is the beginning of the mid-sized luxury sedans for Audi. The A6, although this is an estate, that's a different story. This is a mint condition A6 from 1995, right? Was it? I think. Was it though? Yes. <laughs> now this one has the uh, the lovely two-liter four-cylinder engine, but it's not any two-liter four-cylinder engine. This is the. How do you open the hood? Let me take a second. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is some luxury shit. You need to pull the pin, the thing, and then it opens. A single big shock. No, n none of that fucking rod things. Look at this. Wait a second. Wasn't this supposed to be a dual overhead cam one? Am I crazy? No, it is. Look, it says dual. 16 valves dual overhead cam now it looks re huh i was expecting something more i'm not gonna lie is this something to do with the lpg i've got no idea what this is i think it's a fuel filter a fuel filter that yeah, makes sense now you might have noticed i did say lpg that's right boys this has this has lpg of course it has lpg i mean it's gotta be sad as you can see i'm pretty sure this is the installation for that or it might be some kind of wiring. This car is pretty fucking fucky, okay? This looks like a big supercharger. <laughs> Obviously not. Uh, this is a two liter 16 valve dual overhead cam. That's right, boys. We have technology in this boy. At some point in its life, it was 145 horsepower, uh, horses, horses powers. 150 PS, baby. 140 actually. Uh, it's no longer that. I'd give it at best 50 horses. You gotta see when I try and give it some, uh, some, uh, some heat. It's not gonna work. So as you can see, there's a lot of space here. That's that's because this may, this might be the sad engine option, but this well, this came with 4.2, a V8 engine, bulletproof. But that's not the best engine. These cars, the S6 version, that is also an S4. I don't know what the fucking the naming scheme happens there or something. This came with a 2.2 liter five cylinder turbo engine. That's some real shit from the R from the S2 and the RS2 Coupe A. No, the other way around. There's nothing interesting here to show you. It's about it. It's a heavy hood, though. Oh. It's got Xeons factory. Look at that. Buy Xeon. <laughs> I mean, it, why are they two? One probably doesn't work. <laughs> There's this um, saying that goes around uh, these parts that Audi headlights just don't work until like 2010 or something. They say that they were completely shit. As you can see, this is a facelift model because before this, there was an Audi 100, which is essentially the same car, but it's got orange indicators. Not that some of the indicators don't work on this car, but that's fucking, that's because it's a main condition car. Now, if we walk around, wait, if we walk around, better rust. Considering how old this car is, that amount of rush is absolutely acceptable. We got paint peel. If anybody wants to buy this, we got some damage. This has definitely been hit. We don't know if it's the owner or somebody hit him. I'm willing to bet it was the owner. This damage, um, this, this bad boy is nice. Scrapes. <laughs> it sounded like it's about to de destroy itself. Oh, what the fuck is happening here? Why are there, why are these here? That's an interesting design choice. There's probably a lot of rust in there here. So, as you can see, because this is a luxury car, every luxury car needs chrome, and they've put some fucking chrome. Look at this. Same on the other side. Look at this. Huh? Luxury. Look. I'm still prime quota, it's poco. And the owner's angry. I'm gonna take this car, let me just. It's fucking fine. Eve. You must fuck fuck. I got it, boys. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
That was supposed to be a joke fall, like, ah, I thought I felt, but I, I really did fall there. <laughs> right, so let's continue. This is very light all, all of a sudden. It's, been, it's brighter. I don't know. That's right, this is the chauffeur, chauffeur experience. So let's talk about the luxury setting of this car because this in itself is a almost luxury car. It's got, in, it's got an interior. That's right, boys, it's got an interior. Now, if we go in, ah, fuck me, these fucking small ass doors. That's why you drive a two door car only. Your lights are on, mate. This is the most autistic fucking light switch I've ever seen, by the way. What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck is this? What is this, huh? Tell me. So, as you can see, it's got a climate climate control thing with screens. If we turn the car on, as you can see, 28. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Can you see that? It's yep. not moving. <laughs> right, so, um... Oh! And the... You, you can control the time, but not the time. Oh. You can sometimes control the climate inside the car. Lots of lights. So we should stop this. Um, as you can see, this is the expensive A6 version. It's got the the rings on the things, on the gauges. It's got rings. Also, it's got the three additional rings, which is uh, the three additional gauges, which is battery voltage, oil temperature. It's big dick shit. Oil temperature and water temperature. So you you know when you're a luxury sportsy car. So you know you don't blow the car up. I don't know what I'm saying, bro. Doesn't matter. It's got fuel. I mean, it doesn't have fuel, but the most important thing is this boy. This is the LPG switch. With this, we can use this bad boy. We, you follow me? Fair enough, that's pretty heavy. So, before I show you what I wanted to show you, this thing is older than the year 2000. We don't know exactly when. We're guessing it's 1995, but this thing has never been used, and uh, it would be better if it's never used. Oh, luxury, chrome, tailgate thing. I don't know what this would be called, but it's chrome. It's got twin latches, some rich shit, baby. Twin latches, and it's chrome. Let's see what's hiding, what, what's hiding underneath. Hello. It didn't blow. <laughs> this shit's very risky, baby. Look at this. A boost gauge. <laughs> That's right, baby. This is the turbocharger for this car. <laughs> Look at this donut of turbo. What the fuck does it say here? Right. Let me translate. Um, valid to the 17th of August, <laughs> 20, 2010, baby. <laughs> if anybody from the Bulgarian government is watching, this is a joke. It's not real. Damn, son. <laughs> It's only 11 year old, 11 year, 11 years out of date. It's probably like 20 years old, right? Fair enough. <laughs> uh, as you can see. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing, guys? Is this an automotive channel or, or is this like fucking? <laughs> I don't know, man. Is, is this, um, One last thing, if anybody needs, if anybody needs new spark things, I don't know what the fuck these were called in English. This goes on your spark things, spark plugs. Why does it have so many of them? So if we talk about a little bit more about the luxury aspect of this car, if we go into the rear seats where you would be chauffeured, you can see that this comes factory. <laughs> this comes from factory. <laughs> My God, this comes factory with the Rolls Royce style of a uh, star uh, of a star fucking roof. This is all factory, as you can see. Uh, also, another fun fact about this car: you know how AMG engines were, are tagged by the maker. This is a, a similar thing. This was <laughs> this, this car ha obviously has been made by a German called Hans Pinus. This is all factory, by the way. I mean, it's sagging a bit, as you can see. It's 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 sagging a bit. Oh. <laughs> 
But uh, if anybody knows Hans Piners, uh, we would like to contact him uh, to tell them that the car he hand built is uh, still fine and dandy. Right, -o. so as you can see, for an A6, uh, questionable space, but it's worth noting that the, the, the driver of this car, the seat position, <laughs> the seat position, right? It might be an earthquake, guys. Is there an earthquake? No. Uh, this the seat position. Uh, he is uh, six five, one hundred and ninety five centi centimeters tall. So given that I'm six foot, uh, there's a fair enough space, I guess, of the the door space opening is a bit smaller than expected. But a few things to note. The car comes with tweeters. Yes, it has a speaker and a tweeter. That, that's right, baby. And it's got electronic rear windows. It's got mahogany. It's got mahogany wood. <laughs> Look at this chrome and mahogany wood. And then some cloth. Also, because it's the 90s. So you can, you can smoke some fucking... Marlboro Reds. I don't know what fucking people smoke. I'm not a fucking vagina. Oh, it's got home trims as well here. Very interesting, very interesting. It's got some issues with the fitment, it seems. It's good. We got you got the, the armrest. It's, it's, it's a big solid armrest. Oh look at this. It's got the ski thing. If you want to go skiing, because this car is the German car, you go to the Alps to ski with your A6 in in the year of 1999. Also, it kind of works like a heater if your uh, if your stomach is cold. I don't know, man. What the fuck am I talking about? So, if you look, it's got two heating vents for the rear, so you actually both passengers can uh, can get some heat. I don't, I don't know how much heat comes here, especially considering the heater barely works. So, other luxury things is uh, this tilted, as you can, if you can see, this tilted armrest. Very nice, because... I don't know, man. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's respectable that it's still on the car, and that it works. Oh my god. Um, of course. You got some of that ganja. <laughs> some, some of that... Some of that weed. <laughs> you got some many weeds here. Yeah. Electronically controlled mirrors. Some luxury shit, boys. I mean, this ain't this ain't a joke. You got fog lights, rear and front. You can heat your rear thing. Sounds like your car is breaking with this thing, but doesn't matter. You, you, you've got a little cubby hole here. Very interesting stuff. Now this is the main attraction. Of this car now because the heater doesn't work <laughs> my guy the owner decided to buy a aliexpress a level car vent thing a car heater my <laughs> this thing <laughs> i mean technically speaking can you hear it you can probably hear it oh fucking on and out uh, it's got an electric antenna because as you, as you know but the fuck did my antenna thing go fucking give a shit. Ah. Ah. Oh, a very interesting fact about this car. It has vents, but not just a few vents. It has three middle vents. Two passenger vents, one top vent for the window, of course a window uh, mirror vent, and then two more here. So if you ever need vents, you've got a lot of vents. Not that the thing works, but in theory, if it worked, you could uh, you could be venting yourself very nicely. Right, so let's let's hear this baby purr. Thank you for watching this episode of uh, Reviewing Cars. Uh, that's about it. So, apparently, uh, the car is currently on LPG and it cannot start in LPG mode.
god. Oh god, it smells. Right out. I think it's time to drive this car. Let's go, boys. Let's go. This has a questionable. <laughs> oh. 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 There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right, so now that we're moving, um, it, it's probably impossible to see because I can't see it, but this is... <laughs> Wait a sec, I mean, it's red. It's supposed to be... Green, green. Yeah, yeah, wait a second. So let me just do that. Oh, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Damn. LPG, baby. Excuse me, Mr. Dutchman or German man. Oh, Eagle. I mean, what are you doing, mate? Go on here, lad. You can do it, lad. <laughs> this guy's lost. He's a bit far from England. Great Britain, Brexit. How did you make it here, Brexit man? And let's begin the driving portion. So, a few things to note of this car. Um, steering, very light. Very prestigious feeling. A few other things, except that it's not really too centered. Look at this. This means luxury, 90s luxury. The drive itself, the ride is so it's like you're on, you're on air suspension, but it's actually just normal. You can see it, the car just lightly takes the bumps and it's very, it's very soft, very floaty, very boaty. You're like a boat. The, the steering is not precise, but you've got ample room and the seats, for what it's worth, even though they're cloth poverty spec seats, are comfortable. You can maneuver the car very nicely and, um, all in all, you know, you can, uh, let's be, you know, I'm going to be serious for a second here. This car, it's obvious that it once was a luxury car. Right now, it's nothing more than a shit box, but it still has those luxury moments. And, uh, you know, you can still feel it that it once, this was a real car. By all the body roll and the very unresponsive throttle, because this is full throttle. Pedal to the metal nothing. This car has lived a very tough line. That was a very long time. Third gear pull from 2000. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> the rear end slightly, slightly likes to let loose it seems. We are running on very, very old tires in this car. It is, it is, it is something. Very luxurious feeling though. You know, for what it's worth, it's very soft. I don't know luxurious is the right word, but it's very soft. And I'm not a soft kind of car guy. I like it hard. Can I do a nice... No, I can't even... I can't even get to the, to the throttle. I wanted to do a heel and toe like a fucking pro driver. Throttle response is nothing. Blip. <laughs> nobody. Absolutely nobody there. And, um... <laughs> Lots of understeer. Not a lot of... Not a lot of steer. This is a front wheel drive Audi after all.
I'm built to the metal, by the way. I mean, it kind of stops, I guess. It kind of stops, but the whole front end just sinks. It just sinks down. It's an interesting car for what it's, you know, especially if it was like 1995 when this thing was fucking mint. This thing would have been a fucking cool S car to drive around. This is, after all, the beginning of the Audi resurgence, you can say. This is like, it's one of the cars that, you know, started bringing Audi back into, you know, a luxury brand. But 